Hello everybody on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and NFL fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts about week 16 and my picks for week 17 and a special treat for you guys at the end. Check it out. First off, before I get to my picks, hope you all had a had a great Christmas. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday with your friends and family. And of course, you know, nothing gets bigger than that. With the um with the NFL picks, so hope you can turn in tune in with that. So, anyways, my um, picks for last week, I went eleven and five straight up. Way to go! Unfortunately, against the spread, ugh. six and ten and over and under. Yikes! Even worse, four to twelve. Ugh. So, what happened last week? Um, Houston beat Tampa Bay, which is pretty good, you know, on on that part uh, part of the spread on that. Buffalo, you know, losing to my Patriots, which yay <laughs> to that one. You know, but, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Now that my Patriots won the division, now we get to win next week against Miami and hope for a playoff spot for that. And, of course, you know, Green Bay beating Minnesota on Monday Night Football and the Chiefs won against Chicago on Sunday night. You know, Arizona upsetting um, Seattle on that point. And, of course, um, Dallas losing to Philadelphia. And now Philadelphia's in the driver's seat for the um, NFC East. And, of course, um... Oakland beating the Chargers and Pittsburgh pulling it off against the Jets. And Baltimore beating Cleveland. Cincinnati losing to Miami. Mm, what can you say? And, and Jacksonville and Atlanta. You know, that, that was a good one, you know. What can you say about that? It was, there was a lot going on that week, you know. Oof. Yeah, but even Detroit, though, and Denver. Eh, what can you say? But anyways, so that's how I feel about that, you know. So we got a couple of playoff uh, berths in the mix. You know, we can see what's going on with that. Until then, we'll see what happens this week. Now let's get on to my, with my picks. Let's kick things off with the Atlanta and Tampa Bay Buccaneers game. You know, Atlanta, both Tampa Bay, eh, they're both out of the playoff spot. They're both fighting for pride right now. So anyways, at this point right now, the only thing Atlanta could do is try to win out. You know, eh, nothing you can do. Tampa Bay, eh, same thing. So I got to pick a winner in this one. So... I'm going to have to pick the Atlanta Falcons over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this one because I like how Atlanta's playing lately. They're playing pretty well at the end. But on the line, though, Tampa Bay, I believe that's a one-point, they're one-and-a-half-point favorites in this game. And yes, they are. They are. I'm sorry. They're one-and-a-half-point favorites. So I'm sorry. I, at one point, it was a pick em. So anyways, I'm taking, at one point, it was a pick em the other day. Now it's switched out to a one-and-a-half-point favorite by Tampa. So that's why I was in curiosity about that. So anyways, so I'm going to take Atlanta. Plus, uh, well, one and a half or pick them. So whatever it is. So over and under is 45, 47. I'm sorry, 47 and a half. I'm going to go over 47 and a half. The Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings. You know, the, you yeah, know, the Bears and they're not, the Vikings have a lot to fight for than the Bears do. The Bears need some problems. Maybe replace Mitchell Trubisky. Yeah, maybe. But anyways, but this is a must win for the Vikings to get a playoff berth. They have to win out. To win that, so they have to win to get, keep their playoff hopes alive. So, anyways, I'm gonna choose the Chicago Bear. I mean, the Minnesota Vikings to win this game in Minnesota over the Chicago Bears. On the line, though, the Vikings are favored by one and a half. Uh, one, one in this game. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take the Vikings minus one. Over and under, it's 37. I'm gonna go over 37 on that one. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that just for the hell of it. You know, you never know. Yeah, because I, I bowled on my over and unders and things like that. So. So I'm going to have to go over that. I think, I think this is going to go over 37 on this one, I, I see. But you know, what can you do? You know, Cleveland and Cincinnati. Well, the Battle of Ohio in the last game of the year. Cincinnati, they better they better lose at this point. You know, they might get the number one seed, which I think they're already locked at. So I'm pretty sure of that. But in Cleveland, you know, the only disappointing year for Cleveland. There's nothing you can say about that. So, you know, but I think this is the game that Cleveland should win. So I'm going to choose the um, Cleveland Browns over the Cincinnati Bengals on this one. On the line, though, the Cincinnati uh, Cleveland Browns are favored by three in this game. I'm going to take that. I'm going to choose the um, Browns minus three. Over and under, it's 44 and a half. I'm going to go over 44 and a half. Green Bay and Detroit. Uh, now, Green Bay, they, I, I, don't, I think they already clinched what they needed to do. So I think that, but they still need to win out. They, I think they have to win to get that division, I believe. I'm not really sure, but they think they have a lot to fight for more than Detroit does. And it's in Detroit, too, despite the fact that. So eh, I'm just going to say uh, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are going to win this out. So I'm going to take Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers over the Detroit Lions in Detroit. 
on the line, though, the Packers are favored by 12 and a half points in this game. I'm going to take the uh, Packers minus 12 and a half. Over and under is 43 and a half. I'm hatching my bets. I'm going to go over 43 and a half. The LA Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Now the Chiefs need to win to at least try to get a chance to get a first round by or something. So I don't know. But it, it all it depends on what the, my Patriots are going to have to do, which I'll talk about that one in a bit. So anyways, this is a game that the Chiefs need to win. At least get a mo little momentum in them. So I think they're going to do that with Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. So I'm going to, and it's in Kansas City too. It's in Arrowhead. So this is good to have the home crowd on their side. So I'm going to take the Chiefs over the LA Chargers. On the line, though, the Chiefs are favored by 9 in this game. I'm doing that. I'm going to take the Chiefs minus 9. Over and under, it's 45. I'm going to go over 45. And my, my Patriots and the Dolphins and, uh, in Gillette. Mm. Now, the, the Patriots got the division. Now they need to get that um to clinch. If they win in this game, they got to get that second round bye. So that's going to be good for them. They need to win out in this one to get that second seed in there. So they have to win out. In that game, so they if they don't, if the Chiefs win, the Chiefs get in the second round, we get a wild card spot for that. But anyways, I think they're playing the Miami Dolphins. But don't forget, remember this time last year with the Miami Miracle? It's possibly the, this could happen again, but a long stretch on that. The, the Dolphins are such a hot mess right now, like the Cincinnati Bengals. But, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna say, eh, why not? The Patriots are going to win this game because they have to win this game. They have to win to get that second seed. They have to do it, and now, but as in in what the Patriots did last week, that was a their best win of the year so far. They needed to win that game to get the wild the division, which they did. So that's a check mark for them. Now they got to get that second round seed. They have to win just so they can get that second seed in there, so they can have a first round bye. So don't have to worry about that. But uh, the fact remains is this is their best game they played all year against Buffalo, and now things are starting clicking. So. Look out! Mm, look out, look out. Look out for my Patriots! So anyways, I think going into this game, though, Tom Brady's going to have another field day. I think he's going to win out in this game. So I'm going to pick my Patriots over the Miami Dolphins. Despite the fact Tom Flores is, is there. And he knows Belichick. So this could be a little handy. On the line, though, the Patriots are favored by 15 and a half. That's a lot of points, but you know what? What the hell? They need the, they need the win. I don't care how they win it. So I'm going to take the Patriots minus 15 because I'm hedging my bets on that one. Because I know every Belichick mentor knows how to knows Belichick, knows how to, how to deal with them. So over and under, it's um, 45. I'm going to go over 45 and a half. Yeah, it's possible. You never know. So anyways, uh, the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers. The Saints need to win this game to get, to get that first seed. They have to get home field advantage. They order to get get the um, get the seed in there. So they got to they gotta have a long bet with the 49ers and, or the Seahawks So in that Sunday nighter. So they have to work on that one. So anyways, I think the Saints are going to win in Carolina to finish up the year. So I'm going to, because they have a lot to play for than the Panthers do. So I'm going to take the New Orleans Saints over the Carolina Panthers. On the line, though, the Saints are favored by um, 13 and a half. I'm going to say Saints minus 13 and a half. Over and under, it's 47. I'm going to go under 47 on this one. The New York Jets and the Buffalo Bills. The Bills already, the Bills can't do anything else other than that, though. So at this point, might as well bench everybody, which I don't. At this point, I think that I don't think they're gonna do that. So why not? But so if they do, they they may have to play my Patriots again. So I don't really want to do that. So, but anyways, I think the Patriots are. I mean, the Bills are gonna win this game against the New York Jets. So I'm gonna take the Bills in this game in Buffalo. On the line though, the um the Buffalo Bills are favored by one and a half points in this game. I'm gonna go the Bills minus one and a half over and under. It's 36. I'm gonna go over 36. The Colts and the Jaguars. Now, the Colts need to win. I believe they need to win just to get their playoff hopes alive. I don't know if they're out of the playoffs or not. So, and this is a must win for the Indianapolis Colts. So, for the, and it's in Jacksonville. So, they don't have the home crowd on their side. So, I'm going to take the Colts over the Jaguars. On the line, though, the Colts are favored by three and a half points in this game. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the Colts minus three and a half. Over and under, it's 43 and a half. I'm going to go over 43 and a half. The Oakland Raiders and the Denver Broncos. Now, this is the last game of the year for the Denver Broncos rep. For the Oakland Raiders represent Oakland. So, eh, sorry, to, sorry, Oakland fans. Sorry. They're going to Vegas next year. Sorry to say that. So, anyways, I think going into this game, you know, Oakland's going to win out for one more time re as re representing the Oakland Raiders. So, I'm going to say the Raiders over the Denver Broncos because Denver don't have an offense. On the line, though, de de the Denver, I believe. Yeah, Denver is um, favored by three and a half points in this game. I'm going to 
So I'm going to take Oakland plus three and a half. So it's an upset pick. So over and under 41, we're going to go under 41. So that, yeah, I'm going to do that because I didn't bowl that because I forgot to do that. So anyways, the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. Now this is a the probably the greatest rivalry in the NFL, the Eagles and Giants. And this would be a cult classic, but the Eagles have to win to get that division. They have to win to get the division. They can't afford to lose this game. So this is a must-win situation for the Eagles, and if they do, they're in. So I think this is their momentum right now, so the Eagles have to win this game. And I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to take out the lonely old Giants, and they're going to take the Philadelphia Eagles over the New York Giants. On the line, though, the Eagles are favored by um, 4.5 in this game. I'm going to take the Eagles minus 4.5. Over and under, it's 45. I'm going to go over 45. The Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens. Now, the the Ravens at this point, they need to bench some a lot of people. So I think they're going to play Lamar Jackson a little bit. Then he's going to sit out. So I think he's going to do that. Whatever, depending on the situation, what it is. So, and because of that, I think the Ravens are still going to win this game, though, despite the fact they don't need to clinch anything else. So I'm going to take Baltimore over the Pittsburgh Steelers. On the line, though, the Ravens are favored by three... Uh, two and a half on this one, I think, I believe. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, why not? I'm going to take the Ravens minus two. Over and under, it's 38. I'm going to go over 38. The Tennessee Titans and the Houston Texans. All right, the Houston Texans already clinched what they needed to do, so they don't need anything else. But the Tennessee Titans have a lot to play for, and I think that's what they're going to do. So I think Houston's going to probably bench out some of their best players right now, like Lamar Jackson and things like that. So, anyways, I think going into this game... Uh, I think um Tennessee's gonna win this game. I mean, I had to think about it. Didn't Houston? It's a lot. So I'm gonna take Tennessee over the Houston Texans. I, I believe it. Tennessee on the line. I think Houston's favorite. I believe. So I'm gonna take Tennessee plus three, uh, three and a half. I think I think Houston's favorite in the game. I gotta double check that again. So, anyways, I think um Tennessee is um Tennessee's gonna win this game, and I and I'm gonna take Tennessee plus three and a half. Either way, whatever it's the plus or the minus, just take it Tennessee against the spread. Over and under forty six. I'm gonna go over forty six. All right, the Washington Redskins and the Dallas Cowboys. So Dallas needs to win this game. This is a must win situation for Dallas. If they they lose to the Redskins, they don't deserve to be in the playoffs. Jason Garrett's gonna be gone after that. It's pretty much simple as that. Pretty much. But anyways, I think no matter what, Jason Garrett's gonna be gone anyway. So what do you, what more can you say? So anyways, I like the um, Cowboys to win this game over the Washington Redskins in Dallas. On the line, though, Dallas is favored by 11. Eh, I'm taking the Redskins side of that. I'm taking the Redskins plus um, 11 in this game. Eh, that's too many points, especially, despite the fact that JC is the Redskins. I know the Cowboys are really stinking it up right now. So, yeah, I'm taking the Redskins plus 11. Over and under, 44 and a half. I'm going to go over 40, under 44 and a half. So, and the Arizona Cardinals and the LA Rams. I think the Rams need to win out. I think, I think the Rams need to win out to get that, that playoff spot. So I think they need to do that. So I think they're, they're playing the Arizona Cardinals in, in LA. They have the home crowd on their side. So I'm going to take the Rams over the Arizona Cardinals. On the line though, the Rams are favored by two and a half points in this game. I'm going to take the LA Rams minus two and a half. Over and under, it's 46 and a half. I'm going to go over 46 and a half. And for Sunday Night Football, the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. It's in Seattle. The 12th man's on the field. They're rocking and rolling. So, anyways, if that's the, the winner of that game is going to get that NFC West crown. That's the play, way it goes in there. So, because of that, I smell an upset. I like Seattle over the San Francisco 49ers in this game. On the line, though, the 49ers are favored by 3.5 points in this game. I'm taking Seattle plus three, not plus three, over and under. It's 47. I'm going to go under 47 and a half. Okay, now for my special edition for this one. This is a college football edition for the, all the bowl games. Sorry I couldn't do all the bowl games this year because I was a little busy with school and things like that. So I never been able to have time for it. So anyways, I think I'm going to do a few bowl games and I'll do a, uh, the next week's playoffs. So I'm coming to the final four next week. Like on Tuesday or something, which is might I might do that, so I'm gonna do that. That's that's the things what's going on right now, so I'm gonna to give it to you right now. So, anyways, so anyways, going into the um, going to the uh, bowl games, the Orange Bowl, Florida versus the Virginia. Going into this one, Florida, I believe they're favored in this game, so I'm gonna take Florida to win. And 
on the line of Virginia, Florida favored by 14 and a half. That's going to be a close game. I'm going to take Florida, not Virginia plus 14 and a half. So I'm only, I'm only going to do the, um, the straight up and against the spread. The Bellic Bowl, Virginia Tech and Kentucky. So the Bellic Bowl of Virginia Tech is going to be probably going to have them all day. So I'm going to take Virginia Tech over Kentucky. I think that's going to be a, uh, uh, that's a, uh, uh, they're going to favor by three in this game, so I'm going to take Kentucky minus three. And the sun, the sun, the Sun Bowl, and the Sun Bowl. Yeah, that's right, the Sun Bowl. Sorry. So the Sun Bowl, Florida State and the Arizona State. I mean, so this is the battle of the Sunshine State. So in that one, so I think Florida State's going to probably going to win out in that game. So I'm going to take Florida State over Arizona. So, so Florida State favorite by four, four and a half. I'm going to take Florida State minus four and a half. The Liberty Bowl, Navy and Kansas, uh, Kansas State. I'm taking Navy to win that game. Uh, Navy, uh, Kansas State is um, two and a, uh, two and a half favorites in this game. I'm going to take Navy minus two and a half. Arizona, the Arizona Bowl, Wyoming, Georgia State. Yeah, I'm going to probably take Georgia State to win that game, and it's an upset too. I'm going to take Georgia State um, plus seven. The Alamo Bowl, Utah and Texas. Then uh, I think the uh, I'm going to take Texas to win. I'm going to take Texas minus seven. The Texas favored to win that game. The Catteris Bowl, the big one. That, that's one game I'm looking forward to. Michigan and Alabama. So I think Alabama's going to win this game. I'm going to take Alabama minus seven. The Outback Bowl, the uh, Minnesota and Auburn. Well, Auburn's favored to win. But I'm going to take Auburn to win. I'm going to take Auburn minus seven. And the Rose Bowl, Oregon and Wisconsin. So I think Oregon's favored to win that game. I'm going to take Oregon to win. And I'm going to take Oregon minus set, minus two and a half. And the Sugar Bowl. The um, Sugar Bowl, um, it's being Baylor and Georgia. So I think Georgia's going to win this game. But I think I'm going to take Baylor plus six and a half. And the Cotton Bowl, Memphis and Penn State. Uh, Penn, uh, Penn State's favorite to win. I'm going to take Penn State over Memphis and Penn State minus seven. And the Peach Bowl for the college playoff finals. It's Oklahoma and LSU. I think LSU, this is their time to win. So I'm going to take LSU over Oklahoma in this game. LSU favorite by 13 and a half. I'm going to take uh, LSU minus 13 and a half. In the Fiesta Bowl, the Clemson and Ohio State. Uh, this is a Clem I think Clemson is going to go back to the championship game. So I'm going to take Clemson over Ohio State. And Clemson favorite by two. I'm going to take Clemson minus two. There you go. That's my picks for the week. Shout outs for this week. Check out my um, good friend, Matt, the NFL fanatic. And don't forget, check out um, and check out the the Electric Football Show, and they are great guys to look out to. Check out those couple of guys out. Until then, this is Andrew Warren signing off. Peace.